some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Your wishes are my code. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. All five of the suspects are male. The Observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nixeris. She got the information. Nixeris gave me the information. <laughs> Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeris had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. That anger can't be just from what you've told me. What else happened between you and the Shadow Broker? Did Cerberus ever tell you how they recovered your body? I gave it to them. I gave you to them, Shepard. Because they said they could rebuild you. And to do that, I had to take it from the Shadow Broker, who was going to sell your corpse to the Collectors. Why didn't you tell me about this before now? Because I screwed it up, Shepard. I barely escaped with my own life. And when I gave you to Cerberus, I told myself I was doing it for you for a chance to bring you back. But I knew Cerberus would use you for their own business. And I let it happen. Because I couldn't let you go. I'm sorry. You did the right thing, Liara. My mission is important. I couldn't do it if you hadn't given me to Cerberus. Thank you. I... I was afraid you'd hate me. So that's why I must destroy the Shadow Broker for what he did to my friend, and to you, and whatever he's doing with the Collectors. Be careful out there, Liara. Don't turn into the thing you're hunting. Says the dead Spectre working for Cerberus. Don't worry, Shepard. I'm not my mother. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing of my own free will. For better or for worse. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? I'll talk to you later, Liara.
Torpens and former Warp Listen, Universe I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. Serena? Who wants to know? Name Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right, let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> Don't linger too long, they'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard.
still alive? I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you, and why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mercs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> Here, that should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. You should be safe here. Thank you. I won't forget this. Go get him. You go. 
Get your ass in there, and the Santa's not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I... Ugh. Requesting assistance. Uh, Fed in the Nice! 
Allied force casualties. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Thanks, failure. Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out, it's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Could be him, but that doesn't sound much like an assassin. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Cause she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! I've got a feeling that elevator isn't coming down empty. We should find cover. Quickly. Enemy. Have a pleasant day. Enemy! Oh, Enemy oh, combat oh, drone. <clears throat> Watch the Krogan! Our guests are dead! Charging hostile. Turn around. 
very slowly. Damn it. Tell me where the assassin is, and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You've got two ways down. Express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me... How about goodbye? You guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Be at peace. No one will hurt you. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Tell him! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Tell him was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. That's very precise shooting. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Miss Anna. Damn it!
We're compromised. Rerouting power. Backup systems engaged. Deploying warp field. This will occupy them. I'll tear you apart. This should come in handy. We've been spotted. I don't care what you do. No one gets across that bridge. Get them off their feet.
close. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. Maybe I just missed you. Screw you, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? I wouldn't waste time hunting you down, Nasana. What do you call this? You've practically destroyed my towers. I wasn't looking for you. What the hell are you talking about? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You've brought this on yourself. I wouldn't stop it even if I could. What do you mean? Of course you can stop it. Just don't... What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who... Not bad. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. 
I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. You are just too sweet. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Let me know if you want to pursue that. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Are you going to be all right until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. <laughs> 